Good morning, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. So for today's video, I thought we could spend a Saturday together and I can't lie, it's literally 7 a.m. and I've just woken up. Me and early morning starts are not the one, but I low key have like about an hour and 15 minutes to get ready and I need to do full glam and I just don't know how I'm gonna do that right now. I thought we could actually get ready together this morning so I feel like I haven't done a get ready with me in ages and then I'm gonna bring you all along on a little vlog in my day. I just realized I haven't even told you what I'm doing today. I am going down to London, which for one, I'm so excited for because I haven't been to London in ages. And I'm seeing Daisy and Grace because we actually have a studio hire today, which is so exciting. We basically have the studio for like four hours and we get to shoot loads of content there, pics, TikToks, I can't wait. Today I have no extensions. They're from Remy Cachette. I think that's how you say it. You have to have a trade account to order like directly from the website. So I ordered them from a place called Additional Lengths and they are literally incredible. The hair feels amazing and look, they've even got a little bit of a root to them. So I really wanted some extensions that had like a root. I don't even think you guys have seen me with straight hair yet, but it feels so weird weird but I absolutely love it. I feel really like my uploads haven't been the best and I was like getting back on my upload game but I basically have a deadline next week. Final year uni deadline. I can't believe it. It's fully 30% of my grade. I can't believe it's 30% of my grade. I actually, that scares me. You're not going to believe it. I've actually been an organised queen for once in my life. Well, I say organised. I've basically already started it. I've done just over half of it and usually you all know I wouldn't start it until like three days before and I basically have an event in Manchester next week which I'm really excited about but I have to have my uni assignment done before the event because it's due the next day that's my current situation kind of a little bit stressed but i'm like realistically i'm gonna have to get it done so like worst case if i don't get it done i can always just go to the event for a few hours and then leave and then come and do work in the hotel in the evening that doesn't sound very fun i'm also going to this event on my own because i'm like i can't not go just because i'm scared of going on my own like i need to take these opportunities like i know i'll be absolutely fine after i get there and start speaking to people but it's the initial getting there do you know what i mean i not to do anything too heavy with my makeup because i really haven't been enjoying like heavy makeup on me at the minute. I just prefer like the natural skin looking vibes. This Primark contour stick is amazing by the way. The train to London is at 10 past 9 and then I'm meeting Daisy and Grace in Stratford at time half 11 another random little life update as you all know i'm getting a new car when i finish uni and i have found the car i want i've literally been so clueless when people ask me i've been like i have no idea and then the other night i was just looking and i was building it and then i went and just searched for it online and i said to my mum, i was like mum, i've literally got my heart set on this car and i'm gonna do it but it's so scary because obviously i'm only 22 and this is gonna be my first ever like big 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 purchase like this is the biggest like ever like i can't even believe that that's what's gonna happen but i'm so excited so another random update i literally go home from uni in like three weeks which is like our easter break and then when i come back i have two weeks of uni and then i'm done for good i remember saying this on tiktok but i don't think i said this in my vlog but obviously as you all know i want to start my own clothing brand when i finish and that's kind of what my final uni project is on but i started doing my designs and they are sick I literally can't wait for you guys to like eventually see it and like to see it all properly come to life. I saw loads of things about the brand Claudia Killsby go around on my TikTok like literally ages ago and she very kindly sent me out some PR and safe to say I now know what the hype's about. This is the blush in the shade Winter Rose. Look at this pink. It's insane. It's like the most incredible pink blush ever. It just blends out so nicely and that colour is just the best. I literally booked both of my trains today so I can't miss them. Like I purposely booked them so I couldn't like change my mind last minute. I have 15 minutes until I need to be out the door. I can do that. I can actually really do that. Me and pink blush just go hand in hand, clearly. I've just had to really quickly finish my makeup because I need to be out the door in five minutes. The Claudia Killsby HL3 half lashes on and just look at them. Uber is two minutes away. I'm all ready to go. I've got this jacket on from Pretty Little Things. This is a Seekers jumper. I'll probably show you guys my outfit when I get there. Jeans and dunk. This jacket is so cute, but it has that really horrible smell and I'm really scared it's going to smell. Like, you know, when you're on the train and you just smell the fishy... I'm with Daisy and Grace. We're coming to Biker Mamas. They've got katsu curry. You can start, by the way. Oh no, but we're at Biker's before we go to the place for the shoot. My food has come. I got like a chicken teriyaki tempuri. It looks unreal. Dry, girls. Yeah, because you've got the sauce on the side. We've got our katsu sauce on the side. We have just arrived at the studio. It is so cute. Wow. We put them curtains down, I think. Yeah, we should. And the curtains are like. Damn. Okay, this is the first outfit we're doing. We really don't know what to do with ourselves. We're just like, now we're here, we're like, oh, right. So I've got this outfit on first. There's jeans, a Zara, top Zara, jackets PLT. And then I've got my pink New Balance on. And I think I'm going to sit here for this one. Right. On to the next outfit. We've moved the sofa. We've got a beige outfit. Have you got beige? Oh, no. Anyway, 
guys. Sorry. Actually, a few days later, when I got back from London, I genuinely got changed in 20 minutes because me and the girls were going on a night out. The night out started at five and last entry was seven and we literally got there at seven. I was honestly paralytic. Like I, all I had that day was a Michael Mummers and genuinely I was in no state to vlog no matter what. So Sunday was extremely hungover in the past two days. I've been doing my uni assignment, which I can't lie. I'm so stressed about, but I'm on my way to Manchester. I literally am so excited to go to Manchester. I feel like I haven't been in ages or I haven't been since I went to the PLT HQ. Yeah, I'm going to Manchester for an event with Beauty Works. I'm seeing Eva. I'm seeing Liana tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. Obviously, I'm gonna vlog it. And the thing about tonight is that I'm actually going to the event on my own. I am so nervous. I've got a uni deadline tomorrow, which I haven't finished. Going to this event tonight on my own, I am genuinely, I am having like, I feel sick already thinking about it. I have not been to an event on my own in such a long time, but I'm just telling myself like I've done it before. It's gonna be absolutely fine. Like people go to events on their own, like all the time. So I've just got to firm it and just do it. Just got on the train and it's literally so cold. It's just been snowing. I got myself a custard, also a shortbread, so I'm gonna drink this and then start my uni work. Hey, I've all checked in and because I'm staying like right next to the train station, I'm staying at the Motel 1, you guys have seen this freaking room so many times. I have walked like five minutes. It is snowing. I can't even believe it's snowing. It's so bad. I literally just got like drenched on the way. I really wanted to stay at the Allen, but I was like, realistically, I'm on my own and I do not have the funds to stay at the Allen. Especially when I'm on my saving vibe for my car. When I got into Manchester Station, I thought, you know, I need to go and get some supplies because I forgot some stuff. So picked up some popcorn to snack on my pre-snack. Pre-snack before I go for dinner because I haven't really eaten anything today. I've got a little mini bottle of white wine because you all know white wine is literally my guilty pleasure. I'm realistic, I'm not gonna be able to drink any more than just a minute. I need some liquid freaking courage. Essentials I didn't bring was toothpaste. I was gonna bring toothpaste, but me and the girls only share one toothpaste between us all, so I obviously couldn't take the toothpaste. I just picked up a mini one there. I bought a mini deodorant. I can't remember if I packed my deodorant or not, but I was like, just in case I didn't, deodorant. This is really unnecessary. And when I'm on my saving vibe, I really didn't need to do this, but my hair is more important to me than anything. I basically forgot heat protect. So I had to get some heat protect. I just picked up this VO5 one. Amazing. And then I thought I'm going to a beauty works event. I can't be having flyaways on my hair because I guarantee there is probably loads. So I needed something to smooth it down. So I just got this VO5 hair oil. But like I made these purchases and you know what's so annoying is that I have a million heat protects and a million hair oils and hair smoothers and everything. It's 10 past three and I'm meeting Eva at like 3.45. I'm gonna go to Selfridges, go around the shops, go to Zara, which I'm really excited about. Let me just put my jacket back on so I can show you my outfit for today. I would be lying by the way if I said I'm not anxious. Like I'm all about being a confident bus bee, about like going on my own and stuff, but I genuinely think I've cried about 50 times about it and I'll probably cry more before I even go. Like, and this is something for everyone. Oh my God, inspirational. Who am I today? I'm literally my parents, so that's why. But Shannon, you can't miss out on opportunities just because you're scared of going on your own. Like. You just need to bite the bullet and do it. Okay, outfit of the day. This jacket is from Boohoo. Who is she in a trench coat? I actually really, really love it. I just realised we have a full length mirror and then I've got these little trousers on from PLT. Zara, white bodysuit and then my dunk highs, the nude ones. Look at this, I can't believe we're in March and it's literally snowing. You see the snow? It's literally like properly snowing, but it's not really that cold. So I'm kind of confused. It's cold, but it's not like two degrees cold. Like I didn't think it was that cold when I was outside. I was just obviously getting wet from the snow. Just booked an Uber to pick me up from here, pick Eva up from her hotel. Then we're going to the Arndale and we go do some little bit of shopping before the event. But this is now such a change in vibes. Me and Eva went shopping for a few hours. And then when I got back, I literally have got ready in an hour, less than an hour. Are you impressed with me? So my outfit's actually from Boohoo. I've gone for a little like pink suit moment with the trainers. I feel like everyone's going to be in heels, but I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna be like the cool suit girl today. Makeup probably looks absolutely terrible because I bought some lashes with me and lost one of them. Don't ask me where it's gone. I spent freaking ages looking for it. I found these ones screwed up at the bottom of my bag. I think they've probably been in there for like easily, easily two months. And I've managed to kind of pull them together to put them on my eye. Yeah, I need to leave, really. I don't know why I'm vlogging. It's five to seven and we need to be there four, seven. Just arrived at the dinner. How cute is it in here? And this is the little table setup. I can't lie, I've literally had like four of these cocktails now, but I've genuinely got to go back and do my uni assignment, which is a problem. We've just had some food arrive. I have absolutely no idea what it is. What is it? Is it cheese? Is it cheese? Halloumi. What? Halloumi. Halloumi. They look so cute. Oh my god, it's really hot. 
that straight away. Good morning. So I can't lie, I came back yesterday and I was actually doing my uni assignment until 4 a.m. And I've just submitted. I did sleep, by the way. I slept for a total of three hours. So I'm just gonna power through today. About to meet Liana, we're about to go and get a load of Instagram content, which I'm so excited about. I also, the lash situation is a bit of a dilemma because I basically lost one of my lashes, found some baddies in the bottom of my bag. Um, but I really don't want to wear them today because I feel like I won't like how my eyes look in photos. I can't really explain it. So I've just gone for the mascara vibe, which I feel like I'm probably going to be hating. I'm really 100% sure on locations right this second. So I've just chucked this on for now for comfy vibes because look outside. Guys, it is snowing so bad. Hello, I'm with Liana, we're in the Allen. We've just been shooting some pictures. The yeah. coffee wasn't very nice at all. Oh my God, it was your coffee, did you like it? It was okay. I feel like I needed a bit of sugar. Mm. I can't lie. We needed the energy back, but we need your coffee. I'm like, try it all. No facts. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have major coffee buzz as well, because we've already had one coffee today. Did I tell you that I've only had three hours sleep? No. I was doing my assignment till four. <laughs> Were you having an egg bill? What? Did you have an egg No, I had a coffee. I literally had a coffee at like, I had a coffee at like 2 a.m. Good on you, like, and I was literally. tired anyway. But I'm so glad I submitted. Oh no, how good does it feel? Like, I was, when I was at uni, right? So when you, sum, you submit, you just feel amazing. You're like, yeah. oh my god. I feel and then like, you're ready yeah. to work. Like, yeah. you're like, right, I'm going into this day and I want to get my content. I want to do that. Amazing. Right, we're going to get changed and then get another photo. I always feel really awkward. Yeah. But to be fair, the, the amount of people that will come here for content, like, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Just come to park at Selfridges, another little outfit change, and then we're gonna get a pic in Selfridges. I think it'll look so cute. Yeah, I think it'll look really cute. So she just said that these are the best things ever. They're they melon fruit so crisps. I've honestly never even heard of these before. So we're gonna do a little oh, taste test and try. But, but you shouldn't buy them if you live in Manchester. You just shouldn't because <laughs> she was like, I don't want to do a TikTok in case everyone <laughs> sells them out. <laughs> I'm so intrigued. Hey guys, you're probably thinking, Shannon, what the fuck? This vlog has been all over the place. So I am really sorry about that. My YouTube content has been all over the place. It's just like this vlog. I haven't even edited this vlog back yet, but I felt like I had to kind of sit down and just kind of give you guys a bit of a life update. If I'm being completely honest, I've actually been putting off editing this vlog back because you know when you just know deep down in some of the clips that you weren't like 110% happy? I've just been putting it off because you know when you're like, oh, I just don't really want to rewatch it. And I tell you, I miss posting so much and I'm going to get back into it, but I'm just kind of just taking, I'm just doing things as I want to do things at the moment because I feel like I've just... Life's been crazy. And YouTube for me is something that I definitely like can't force. Uni has been one of the biggest stress. I obviously had a deadline, which really didn't help my filming. And then I've basically got like six weeks left of uni guys maybe a tiny bit longer. I'm going home in a few weeks for like two or three weeks. So I feel like, especially when I'm at home, I feel like my YouTube filming game is gonna be strong. But I feel like as soon as I fall out of it, it's so hard to get back into it. But at the moment I'm just kind of filming and doing things as and when I'm on the vibe and I want to. And I'm gonna be back in full swing. Like you all know that YouTube is probably my favorite platform just cause I just love it. I did have a really fun few days getting content with Liana, going to the Beatworks event. And also that I think I vlogged going to get Instagram content with Daisy and Grace. Oh, I genuinely don't even know about this vlog. Oh my God, let me show you what I got from Beautyworks. So in the goodie bags, we got this little like Beautyworks hair care kit, which Beautyworks hair care is incredible. I love it. Mask, texture and spray, hairspray. I don't use hairspray, but the girls do. And I know they're gonna be absolutely lapping that up. Oh my God, this is a massive anti-frizz serum. I've had the mini one before and it's amazing. And then whatever this is. Oh my God, heat protection blow dry cream. I've not tried that. And then this is the other thing. I'm really excited about. Look at the size of this hairbrush. That's actually huge. Saturday, by the way, I'm posting this vlog tomorrow, um, but me and my friends are all going out tonight. I wasn't really in the mood, still kind of not in the mood, but I'm gonna push through, have a good night with my friends, and look at my shoulders. I put this on from Zara. It's the Wonder Rose Shimmering Body Oil. For one, it smells incredible. For two, look how glowy I am. I can't wait to bring this on holiday with me. I feel like I'm just randomly chatting shit now, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to let you know that I haven't been 110% me um but you go i'm coming back you've been at uni i kind of struggled to find things to do to film because i just can't drive anywhere i just love filming driving me i can't wait to go home and be able to like sit in my car film and drive with me and i've got so many exciting opportunities that have been coming my way the past like few weeks which just crazy stuff and i'm like this is like good things that are happening you know when you feel like you have to have like shit stuff happen or you feel shit for a bit then you have to go through that to then get all the good stuff to come and good stuff has been coming and I'm so, I'm so excited to share everything with you all. But yeah, I love you all and I will see you all in my next video.